Anyway, so hey, hi family. My name is Nani. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in or on your way out. Today, as you can see by the title, today I'm just gonna be showing you guys some back to school hairstyles that you can try on your natural hair. I think I'm gonna do like four or five I don't know. I'm basically just gonna go through and do some hairstyles for you guys that you guys can use when you go back to school, you know, to look cute. So my hair looked like yesterday. First, we need to moisturize our hair. So that's what we gonna do. Yeah, oh, and let me tell y'all, the Edge Booster be working because y'all, I slept on these and they still good. leave-in conditioner that I be using you gotta make sure your hair is moisturized when you are doing these hairstyles now that your hair is moisturized you are all ready to go so the first style we are gonna do is gonna be a top ponytail and what you're gonna need is this gel y'all know I love this gel this is my favorite gel I show y'all this in literally every hair tutorial because that's what works best on my hair. So this style don't take too long and you only putting your hair up. So, and especially when your hair is wet, it's a, not even wet, but moisturized, should I say. It's a lot easier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my hair, so I'm gonna put it at the top, like I'm gonna put the ponytail up and just sit it right there and then I'm gonna put a little bit more gel on and then brush through my hair first because that's how you get your ponytails the slickest. All right now you can either use one or two rubber bands. I always use two because it makes my hair tighter. I know I keep the Edge Booster on me, so that's what we're working with today. It's not focusing, but y'all know Edge Booster I'm talking about because I use it in all my videos. So we gotta do the edges. Y'all, I've noticed a lot of people don't do their edges like mine, and they do it like with the end of the comb, which is like really weird because I think that is so hard to do your edges with the end of a comb. I don't know how people do it, but salute to y'all. Crazy. I don't know how I just did that, but I did it. Now, I'm just gonna undo that ponytail, brush my hair down a little bit more. Like I said, y'all, back brush. Back brush is really good. It just adds volume to the hairstyle. And it make it look good, okay? Your style number one, simple ponytail, you know, add your little edges. You could add like accessories and stuff to it. I know like uh, bobos are really in a trend. You could add like clips and stuff. It's really easy, cute, simple, take like five seconds, okay? The next style is going to be a bun, which you can easily transform this into a bun. Basically, like I said, it's like a top knot bun or just a regular bun, you know. Yeah. So I just wrap it around, get you some bobby pins, and you'll have a top knot bun in like two seconds. So 
So, next you got your top knot buns. Like I said, in two seconds. On this one, you can add style to like these little knockers. I know some people call them knockers, bobos, whatever you want to call them. You could put them like right in the front and you know, wrap it around. They are stretchable, so just stretch them around your ponytail and you know, connect them. You can really have as many as you want. So this is the top knot bone with some knockers. So the next hairstyle we are going to do is two buns. Y'all, these is really, really simple styles. Like I told y'all before, it take only about two seconds to do these. And yeah, very trendy, very giving much looks. That's what you're giving when you do these hairstyles. Very much looks. So you're just gonna take the bun out. You know, do your little split down the middle. I'll be trying to make sure it's perfect. So anyway, you're gonna just make sure the one side up first, and then you're gonna do one side. So you know, get you a little bit of your gel or whatever you use, and yeah, get your hair together. use two hair ties as I mentioned earlier just because it be given more hold and I just be wanting my hair to stay all day how I have it so that's why I be using two because it hold really good so yeah next you're gonna do the other side get you a little bit more gel You wanna make sure they even. So anyway, you puff them out and joint like that. Like I said, I back brush. So that's what I would suggest you to do. Just back brush them out. You know, give it a little bit more volume and all that good stuff. And then if you wanna add more color or more style, like I said, get you some knockers. I'ma use purple and clear knockers. So like I told you before, just grab them like this and then you're just gonna wrap it around really and entwine them. So like I said, I'm gonna have two, so I'm gonna have clear and I'm gonna have purple. Just fix up your edges how you gotta fix them up. And you got you two cute puppies with the knockers. Now you got your two 
buns with the knockers. These knockers I picked pink and clear, as you guys can tell. And I just put them in a bun from the other ponytails. I'm actually gonna show you guys one that I recently started doing with like my braid out. So you're just gonna put these, put this part in a something, I don't know, hair tie, something like that. So then, uh, you know how you do your slip backs. You're basically gonna bring all your hair to the back. Ponytail holders, and you're gonna split it down part in the middle and then you take your one side and you just braid it up So, like I said, get a little bit more and just curl that puppy up. Oh, what is that in my hair? As you can see, if you need to, just get your edge control and then fix up your edges if you have to. Like I said, if you got some clips, some gold clips, I'm trying not to get my face in it so it can focus for y'all. Get you some gold clips and just clip them. You can clip them up here. Now you got two braids with the gold clips in the slick bag. It's super, super easy and super, super cute, giving very much cute, giving very much natural hair giving very much you know how to style your hair now we're gonna move on to the last one which is going to be our slick back with a swoop now I know people be doing these with like um like top knot buns and stuff like that but we're gonna do a slick today okay <laughs> And then you're gonna part your hair to the way you want your slick back. So it could be like this, it could be like all the way back, so yeah. So now that you got your piece that you want to be slick back, you're gonna get that out of the way. And you're gonna just put your hair back into like that one segment so i'm gonna just spread my hair a little bit more and then you know grab you a little bit more gel once you do that you're gonna take out this piece and i'm just gonna spray it just because it makes it easier for me and then I'm gonna brush it down to where I think I want it to where I want it to swoop at once I figure out like if this is how I want it 
I'm gonna just add a whole bunch of gel. I know y'all hear me slapping it on there. I would usually use this, the end with this style, but the end broke on me, so yeah. And I'll probably move like these pieces, these little pieces that's like, like right here. I'll probably move that since they're not like staying in that swoop. I got this stuff right here. So I'm gonna try this for the first time to see if it works. I'm not spraying it directly on my hair. I'm gonna spray it on my hand and then wipe it on my hair because I don't really know about this yet. So now since we done with that side, like I said, I was probably gonna take off the edges like I already said, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So now you've got your three edges on this side. And then you got your swoop on this side. And then you got your ponytail. I think I gave it like five or six back to school looks. Giving very much natural hair. Giving very much hair done. Giving very much I know how to style my hair. If y'all want to know any other hairstyles or stuff like that. Just look at my other videos on my channel. That's it for today's video. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. And thank you guys for, you know, being in my family. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Like I said, <laughs> bye. I thought